because it is an unfinished gospel. It's like there's a race to see which preacher can say the dumbest thing. Why? Because it is an unfinished gospel. Oh, I'm not hearing nobody talk to me. What? An unfinished gospel. It is not that Jewish stuff. If, watch this, watch this, watch this. If I don't partake and respect the fact that the Bible said that we are engrafted and do this thing, making us fellow heirs. Before I hear more, the first thing I'm just thinking about are all the people that are surrounding her, just listen to her, and I'm wondering, why isn't anyone just shutting down the volume, taking the mic away from her, or confronting her, or just, just leaving? How long are we going to shout and miss it? Today, we hit the timing. Today, we line up with what is happening in Israel. No, y'all ain't saying nothing. We're going to line up with what is happening in Israel. This is so silly, it's getting interesting. I don't think you understand this. Let me give you some information you don't know. That's typically when you know that something ignorant is about to be stated. Let me give you some information that you don't know. Only I know this. In 1987, the original Jews were the dark-skinned Ethiopians. In 1987, they started a movement called the Moses Movement. And the reason why the movement started was because the dark-skinned Jews decided, we're going home. So they left Ethiopia by the thousands. When Israel knew they were coming, they devised a plan called the Moses, the Moses Project to usher them in. So now the black Jew and the white Jew is joined together in Israel and the place where they thought they were going to build the tabernacle belonged to the Arabs and they found the original spot. You don't hear what I'm saying. I hear what you're saying. I don't understand what you're saying. What you're saying makes no sense. You don't hear what I'm saying? Jesus cannot come back because if he does now, he's coming back for half of a body. I'm not hearing y'all. The Bible said that he died so that both Jew and Gentile would be joined together. If he come back now, he's only coming back for half of a body. He needs a whole body of Christ. He's only coming back for half of a body. He needs a whole body. This almost reminds me of when her friend, the apostle Matthew Stevens said that when God spoke to Adam, he spoke to Adam, a person who had nobody. You know the most powerful issue with that? Do you know the most profound challenge with that? Adam did not have a body. But in case you missed it, she said the gospel is unfinished. Why? Because it is an unfinished gospel. Well, I recall a passage, I recall Jesus saying on the cross in John 19, 30, he says on the cross when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. Well, what is finished? Well, what he came to do, it is finished. To tell us that it is the perfect tense. It's a completed action from the past, which is referring to what God had decided in eternity past to do to save us. So no, it's not an unfinished gospel. It is a finished gospel. Now, in regards to Israel and the Gentiles, Jew and Gentiles, the church in Israel, We've told, we were told this by Paul in Romans 11. Now, Paul from Romans 9 through 10 and 11 is speaking about his desire for the Jews who at this time, by and large, are not coming to Christ, though they were the first to do so. They're not doing so, but his, his concern is for them. But he makes a statement that lets us know that they will come, those whom God has, as he says, has elected. And when is, that, when is, when is it going to happen? It's not that God is coming back or Jesus is coming back to an uh, a whole body, I mean, a half a body. He's coming back to all that he has. We'll come to that in just a second. But look what he says. He says that I don't want you to be uninformed, ignorant, Miss Bynum, so that you will not be wise in your own estimation, Miss Bynum, that a partial hardening has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles has come in and so it, and so all Israel will be saved. So Miss Bynum or anyone else that would listen to this ignorant statement, this ridiculous speech that she's given it's not a sermon of speech that there's that guy's having a half a body he needs a whole body well israel will receive her promise just like god stated and so too will the gentiles when god comes back when his people are brought in he's not going to miss any how do i know because jesus said so in john 6 37 he says all that the father gives to me 
will come. So all those that are that he that are his, they will come. Who gave them to Jesus? The Father did. And the one who comes to me, I will certainly not cast out. Now drop down to verse 39. He says, This is the will of him who sent me, that all that he has given, notice the tense of the verb, has given this verb here, the dokin, it's the perfect tense. It is in the past. So all of those that are uh his, they have been given to him in the past. We don't realize it at the moment but it's happening. And so all that he has given to me, I will lose none. This word, uh, may apolose, which is, I will not lose any. And so he's clear. I won't lose any, any of who all the ones that were given. And so he's not coming back to a half a body. He's coming back to every single one that are his. This is why you reject foolishness, but even more of that, this is why you reject people like her who would say ridiculous things. And it's really shameful that there are even people that are there that are still listening to this lady.